Do you wanna get approved to borrow 10 to 20% more when it comes to buying a property? Well, that's exactly what I wanna to talk to you guys about today uh, in our Just Ask Tim video series for the week, guys. Um, so this is gonna have some major implications for you personally, of course, for the, the much greater market. But before we kick it off, uh, let me introduce myself, guys. My name's Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director and founder of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to reach their financial goals, whether they be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, or early retirement. We use affordable, reliable and proven strategies to do this and we do it using only what people currently have available to them right now and with very high customer satisfaction ratings so let's kick it off and let's get stuck straight into how you're gonna be able to borrow 10 to 20 percent more so there's been some major changes over the past six weeks let's just recap them firstly the election right so coalition one basically scrapping um, any changes to negative gearing and scrapping the changes to capital gains tax right very good news for the market we've seen the markets bounce back in fact uh, SQM research have reported uh, last month every capital city in Australia went up uh, except for Darwin that was right so immediate impact on the market there uh, furthermore what we've also seen is a couple of interest rate changes so this has also impacted what people are now currently paying for the credit they've got but more recently and this is particularly what's going to impact what you're able to borrow is the changes from APRA the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority okay they are the regulatory body that govern uh, lending institutions and how those lending institutions given finance basically the changes was this previously APRA APRA had this rule that whenever a bank was calculating what you could borrow, they had to do it based on a minimum of 7.25%. Okay, even though interest rates, current interest rates, probably three and a half, four, maybe even 3%. So you can see there's this significant buffer. This is the assessment rate and it allows for interest rates to change and have people to still be able to afford to pay their loan. The reality is, is that APRA seemed to think that these inter this, or this assessment rate is no longer relevant. So what they did is they had a four week um, uh, consultation period. They've uh, completed the consultation period and they've now released their findings. What they're requiring is banks only now have to have a 2.5% buffer based on whatever a client is applying for, and that's excluding any honeymoon rates. So essentially what this means is previously where people were being calculated at 7.25%, you know, subsequently they may be now being assessed at something like 55 six percent the overall effect and this is what we've seen across the lenders is an a change from about six weeks ago to what people are able to borrow from anywhere from nine to twenty one percent now if you're thinking about this right so if you're looking at buying a five hundred thousand dollar property that's extending your borrowing capacity by a hundred thousand dollars that could really be the difference between being able to get into the market not getting out of the market uh, at the same time, you're looking at a million dollar house, well, that could be as much as being able to borrow an extra $200,000. Now, like I said, this is gonna have six significant impacts on the market as well. Look, money was cheap to borrow. The problem was it was very hard to borrow because of all the, the app regula regulations that had come in and obviously because of the impacts of the Banking Royal Commission. So now that that's cleaned the way, they've changed the assessment rate, it means people are gonna be able to borrow it let's round it, let's call it 10 to 20% more. So if you're applying for a loan, so anyone who's looking to do something that may have applied for the loan in the past, what you're gonna be able to borrow now is more. My recommendation is if you're looking at getting into the market, get on to us, maybe reach out, we can uh, sit down, tell you exactly what a bank would get you approved. We deal with 48 lenders, 1,600 different products across the country. Uh, basically, if we can't get you the best deal, no one can, guys. All right, so look, that covers it for this week's Just Ask Tim video series. Pretty much all you need to do is apply now, you'll be able to borrow 10 to 20% more. A couple of things I want to cover off before uh, we go though. So um, firstly, we'd love to see your interaction with these posts. So please like, love, angry, post your questions, your comments. Please share this with your friends and family as well. Obviously, it's really important that they get the benefit of this valuable information as well. Uh, and if you've got any questions that you want asked on your Just Ask Tim video series, please send them through and we'll be sure to get back to you plenty soon, guys. Just a very quick video from me today. I hope everyone's having a great week. Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll be back with a, the Weekend Real Estate video series later this week. That's all from me, guys. Have a great day. See ya.